there. This is Santos Rolon Jr. here on Next Level Consulting. Uh, it's actually Friday evening. I had a, a little bit of a brainstorming session earlier today, and I thought I would put another video before I hit the sack this evening. I'm going to be doing some traveling out of the California area, and I thought that I would put a video together, uh, a video that I believe is going to help a lot of people if, they, if they're willing to spend the time to watch this video. By the way, I've had a very challenging day today, but I've made it a super fantastic, terrific, over-the-top day. And you know, my mindset is, is, is that's what my mindset is. It's going to be a super fantastic, terrific, over-the-top day daily in spite of and because of regardless of what I'm facing, regardless of what people throw at me, regardless of, of what I have to go through in order to achieve and my goal, my goal is to help people. I've been able to get breakthrough after breakthrough in my own life. And my goal is to be able to share my story. My, my goal is to be able to share the transformation that has taken place in my life. Now, I, I have to admit that I'm still working on building my dream. I'm still working on building my vision. And because it because it's it's so big and in the beginning you know this is really what I wanted to share with you because you know you may be on the path right now where you're actually making a decision to change your life maybe you're you're looking at yourself and you're asking yourself this question also what am I passionate about you know have you truly found what it is that you're passionate about have you found that in your life? Do you have you found what it is that you feel is your calling, your mission, your purpose? You you could have a great job, you could have a family, and you could have a lot of things going for you, but you might still be completely unfulfilled in an area where you feel that you you're kind of feeling that maybe you need to start going in a different direction. And, or, you know, again, you're, you're looking at your life and you're trying to determine what is your, what is your goal? What is your passion? Why, what is your true purpose at this point in time in your life? You know, maybe you're asking yourself that question. I ask myself that question continually, constantly. And, you know, I have an idea already of what it is that I'm passionate about. I already have that idea. I know what I want to do. But it's not an easy road. You know, when you when you determine that you know and you believe in your heart that you know what it is that you want to do with your life, you sit down, you write, you brainstorm, you talk to people, you educate yourself, and sometimes you just can't find, you know, you might know exactly what it is that you want to do. You might be able to pinpoint that thing. But putting a plan together is a whole nother story. You know, I find, I find that in my life it's been a journey and, and it still is a journey. It's, it's a journey of, of, of bad decisions and good decisions, left turns and right turns. Uh, writing, brainstorming, listening to other people. And I'm finding that sometimes you got to basically just shut everything out. You know, sometimes you got to just tune everything out because most people, when they are searching for their true passion or once they find their true passion or what they believe in and they begin to, to get try to get a plan together, you know, that plan generally generally is going to come from within you. Yeah, you'll have some input from other people. Obviously, you will. But that plan is going to come from within you. And that's where the struggle lies for many people. I know because I go through this all the time. But you got to tell yourself, you got to tell yourself that you're going to find a way. You got to tell yourself that you're going to, you're going to figure this thing out. You got to tell yourself that you're going to put it all together. You must tell yourself that. Most people quit when it gets hard. 
you know, anything in life that's hard, uh, people basically just back off because we're so used to easy things. We're, we're, you know, we're so used to having everything done for us. We're so used to, well, not so much having everything done for us, but we're so used to, um, to convenience and to fat, you know, like I, sometimes I refer to our society as a microwave society or, or as a drive-in society, you know, you drive into the, to the, uh, to the window and you order what it is that you want. And, and sometimes you get upset because it's not fast enough for you. And that's the way it is with dreaming. That's the way it is with finding your passion. Let me tell you, my friend, you're going to go through hell. Um, you're going to literally go through hell trying to find what it is that is is going to be the plan and the and the purpose. And it's not going to be a straight line. I tell you, if I've heard that so many times, I, I used to think, well, OK, I'm going to find my passion. I know what it is. Now I'm just going to go forward with it. Well, it's not that easy. It, it is not that easy. But the thing that you have to remember is that you have to continually talk to yourself positively. I talk about mirror talks, you know, looking in the mirror and talking to yourself. I talk about self uh, positive talk and I talk about what needs to be done when it comes to, you know, keeping your mind at optimum level or optimizing your mindset, breaking through those paradigms or those belief systems that could hold you back because I mentioned this earlier in the video, most people will quit when it gets hard for them, when they realize that, you know, maybe this dream or this passion isn't, isn't really what I really want, because it's hard. It is hard. It's, it's a challenge. You know, you think you find the answer one day, and then the next day, it's, you know, it's, that's the way it is, and that's the way it is for successful people, but you know, successful people don't quit. They don't give up. They 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 regroup. They get advice. And sometimes you just got to shut everything down. Sometimes you got to shut all the voices down around you. You know, get off the internet for a little bit. Uh, quit taking advice from people. And, and just continue, continue to write. Continue to ask yourself and tell yourself. This is very important. You got to tell yourself that you're going to figure this thing out. And if you don't, as long as you believe and you build up that self-confidence in yourself, you're going to believe that and you're going to find a way. You know, I'm being challenged myself and I'm speaking from experience that my I haven't really completely developed my consulting business. You know, I've got videos, I microblog, I'm writing a book, I've got a bunch of affirmations, I keep myself motivated every single day, I do it to myself. But I still find challenges in preparing. You know, I was thinking about this this thing that you know you could be you could be a jack of all trades and master of none. <laughs> we need to be we need to be a jack of all trades, but master of one, and that should be the starting point as we go forward. Because if we put too many projects. Uh, on the table, we're not going to complete any of them. It's just going to become confusion. It's going to become hard. We're going to give up on ourselves. And again, that's sadly to say, that's what happens to most people. They give up on their dreams. And they go back to that mediocre life, a quiet life of misery, a quiet life of, of desperation. And, you know, they watch the rest of the world. In fact, I created a video talking about are we going to sit in the audience or are we going to make something happen? Do we want to be the actor? And you got to, it's not for the faint of heart. You got to be willing to go through hell. You got to be willing to continue to do the exercises. You got to continue. You got to be willing to talk to yourself every single day and tell yourself in the mirror, you know what? You're going to find a way. You're going to figure this thing out. There's got to be a way to do this. I love what I, I, I love what, 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 uh, what my dream's all about. I believe that my dream can help thousands of people. I believe that I can make lots of money by helping lots of people working through my dream or sharing my dream or whatever it is that you have. But it's really difficult in the beginning. You know, charting out that course is not going to be an easy thing. 
And if you've come so far and you're struggling and you're still at it and you're still at it and you haven't given up on yourself, I commend you for doing that because you will find a way. You will find a way as long as you're committed to your dream and you don't give up on yourself. So that's what I wanted to share in this video. I hope it helps you as much as it has helped me. Comment below. There'll be some information below this video. Subscribe to my channel and remember to make every single day a super fantastic, terrific, over-the-top day daily. And I will see you at the top on my next video.